everybody, welcome back to Caden's Corner. On today's episode, we are going to be looking at how the Jacksonville Jaguars have progressed throughout this offseason and um, some new improvements that they've made over the offseason. All right, without further ado, let's head to an intro! <laughs> Okay, first on the agenda for today is Tim Tebow. Yes, Tim Tebow is back in the NFL. You heard me right. Tim Tebow is back in the NFL, but this time he won't be playing his typical quarterback position. He'll be playing as a tight end for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, Tim Tebow signed a one-year, $920,000 contract with Jacksonville. And um, some theories on why he might be back are to raise um, the money income and ticket sales for the organization. Also, it might be for locker room hype. They got a new quarterback in Trevor Lawrence. Um, they're kind of just hitting the reboot button um, when you look at it from a franchise point of view. Kind of just rebooting. So if they can get a, a veteran who is successful, um, in the locker room to hype up and motivate the guys, it's gonna be good. it's gonna be a good year. One other um, possible theory on why he might be back is he might actually have potential at tight end. Um, players that play quarterback don't usually go to tight end, and tight end not to quarterback. They don't do the same things at all. It's not like a wide receiver and a tight end. They do kind of sort of the same thing, um, more so than a quarterback does like a tight end. So, um, that was kind of a shock to a lot of people, but, um, Jacksonville might have saw something and said, hmm, he might actually be a good tight end, let's give him a chance. And, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to watch if he has potential or if it's just for financial or if it's for motivation. Who knows? It's going to be interesting to, um, watch. All right, second on the agenda for today is Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence was the... Number one overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft to the Jacksonville Jaguars. And um, to put it in simple terms, he basically signed a $37 million contract for four years. And um, as far as his progression, um, he is learning every day. He's a very um, smart guy, so he's learning the plays and offense very quickly. And, um, you know, it just kind of takes some time for um, a brand new player to the NFL like him to kind of get, um, to kind of start playing at the pace of the NFL is a notch up from what college is, to kind of get in the rhythm of the NFL because it's a little bit different. But um, the coaches have said he's progressing every day and he is doing good. All right, our final subject for today is the Jacksonville Jaguars hiring of a new coach. Yes, Jacksonville hired a new coach in Urban Meyer. Now, Urban Meyer was um, a college football coach for Ohio State and Florida. Actually, fun fact, at Florida, him and Tim Tebow got to play together. So, um, he was a... Uh, in college for a while, and he did great. Um, he hasn't coached for a couple of years, but um, some reasons why he might be coming back are um, because he seeks excellence in his craft, and he pushes for excellence in every player that he coaches. And right now, that's what Jacksonville needs. They're kind of starting fresh, so if they can bring in a new head coach who pushes for excellence and wants to win, who's a leader, um, that's going to be great for the organization. Also, they needed a new head coach. Um, their old head coach last year obviously led the worst team in the NFL. And um, his all-time record there was about 20 and 40. So out of 60 games that he coached in Jacksonville, which is a couple of seasons, he won one-third of the games. That's not very good. And um, it was kind of time for Jacksonville to move on. All right, let's head to an entree. All right, thanks everybody so much for watching. And make sure to keep liking and subscribing to my channel. And tune in next week for my next video. All right, bye everybody. Peace. <laughs>